Kate Middleton promises no wardrobe malfunctions in Bhutan after Queen Elizabeth rudeness reprimand Hopefully there will be no Kate Middleton wardrobe malfunctions in Bhutan. The Duchess of Cambridge's rudeness during the royal visit to India must have warranted a reprimand from Buckingham Palace. Kate must behave and dress appropriately or else. After the fiasco with the butt-bearing white dress and the much too tight skinny jeans the royal wardrobe keepers probably got a furious phone call from Queen Elizabeth's office demanding Kate wear more respectable clothing while in Bhutan. How difficult can it be for Kate to keep from flashing her bottom while in Bhutan? Kate wore a yellow coat dress by Amelia Wickstead when the Cambridge just touched down in the small country tucked away in the Himalayans. The designer outfit was a safe bet because Kate has worn it before. During the first day in Bhutan the Dosa refusing Duchess of Cambridge happily participated in archery wearing traditional style dress. The ankle-length purple wrap skirt was paired with a white blouse belted at the waist. The most anyone got to see of Kate was a bit of leg from ankle to knee when a slight breeze caught the hem of the skirt. It wouldn't be a day in the life of Kate Middleton if she didn't do something embarrassing. You cannot blame Kate for this one though. Kate's look of absolute shock came when an interpreter explained what cheerleaders at the tournament were chanting at Prince William. You rebald. Your nose is really big. We hope your private parts are as big. Apparently this is some kind of tradition at these matches. The audience chants obscene things at the participants in order to distract them. Recovering from her initial shock, Kate smiled and then sipped some tea. It is no wonder she didn't tea choke on it. For the Cambridge's private dinner with King Jigm and Queen Jetson Kate chose to wear a heavily and intricately embroidered ankle-length dress and orange shawl. While appropriately dressed, Kate's hair was just limply hanging to her shoulders. If anything Prince William was the fashion disaster. The future king looked as if he was headed out for quick dinner at a local restaurant, not a meeting with the reigning king of Bhutan. We think his tuxedo got lost somewhere along the way. What was William thinking when he put on a pair of